Hi again my lovelies, um, just um, doing another video straight after my elf haul and today I am going to do the blush tag. Now I never thought I was much of a blush person until I actually got them all out. But it's quite frightening because I don't really use that many, I pretty much use the same one every day. So I'm going to start off with my most favourite, my most used. Um, my favourite blush um, is Well Dressed from MAC and it's a really really pale light pink with kind of maybe slight little bit of lilac in it. I'll just do a swatch. It's it's not that highly pigmented, it takes a while to kind of build up the colour but it's just very light, very pretty. I've still got the swatches from my other video, there it is. And I just love it because I'm so pale it gives me just that really baby pink cheek. I mean it's a bit like, you know, the kind of blush that your dolls have, but I quite like it because I'm so pale dark blush is just too much for me. So that is my favourite. Um I also really like in a similar colour um Sweet William, which is a blush cream. It's a bit skanky, I've got my finger in it. And it's a blush cream pearl. And it's quite a bright and vivid pink. But I really like it for just a tiny bit. It's like a pearl, so you just put in a little dab and then just smudge it in. And usually I use it with a brush, like the one seven, I think, um, to just dab it on really lightly. And it's very pretty, and I really like this. Um, then the blush I've had for the longest time from Mac is my Peachy Keen blush, which is a staple for everyone. It is a sheer tone shimmer blush. It does have some shimmer in it. It's very pigmented. Um, I like the gold shimmer in it. But you can see that right next to my Sweet William, how much more kind of peach it is. And um, also a little bit goes a long way, so I really like this one. Then, um, I've recently purchased gentle and I actually bought this when I was in Moscow because somehow they still had these mineralized blushes left and this is gentle which is my favorite color and then I never picked it up and then it sold out really quickly. It's kind of like a raspberry with gold. This is really strong I find. I just need to really lightly just dab my brush in it and it comes out. It's super shimmery really fun raspberry colour a bit dark than what I'm used to but I think this is the lightest out of the mineralized blushes and I just love the finish of them so I decided to get that after all um, and then I also have the Faffy blush which is a frost um, it's called Hypnus and it's a very kind of peachy orange colour and I'll just hold that up next to my peachy cane they are quite similar, peachy cane is a little less vibrant so this is peachy cane and this is Hypnus. Um, although it is a frost, I find it's kind of more matte than um, Peachy Keen. Um, I'll put that just above the Peachy Keen. And it's, um, it's kind of less sparkly. So that's the Peachy Keen right there, and that's the Hypnus. So it's kind of a more orange blush. And then I also have the Faffy, I can't think this is a blush really, um, Iridescent Powder in Sassed Up. Don't know, blind you. And I really like this, it's got gold shimmer in it, but then it also has quite a lot of gold glitter. I don't know if you, the camera will be picking it up. Focus, there we go. See all that gold glitter? So when you put it on, that gold glitter transfers and then towards the end of the day I find I have like the gold glitter or um, down my front especially if I'm wearing a top it kind of collects on there but what I normally do is put it on with a, a flat brush like this so I just kind of put it on there and then really tap it off and that way the glitter comes off and so it's very gentle you probably won't be able to see it right there Um, lovely for a little hint of colour and I'm not one of those people who puts blushes all over their face and you know, some people put it on their cheeks, a little bit on their nose, a little bit on their forehead, on their chin. Um, my face is kind of pink anyway, it's kind of red and I've spent all that time putting foundation on to take away the redness so why would I do that? I don't know, personally. 
does no good because I'm so cool toned. Um, but with something like this beauty powder, I can afford to add a little bit all around my face to add a little bit of warmth without adding redness. That's why I chose this kind of peachy one, not a pink one, because if you put pink around your face, it looks like you're um, not just flushed, but been running on a treadmill for about 10 hours, personally. I don't like that look. Um, then I recently purchased the Emmanuel Angaro um, Cream Colour Base in Fresh Morning. This is the palest, palest pink. I would almost call it a nude, because for my skin tone, this is pretty nude, not pink. You'll see what I mean when I put it on. It's almost like painty paint pot, but for my skin tone, painty paint pot is a bit yellow for me. So there it is. It's it says when I bought it, well once I'd already bought it, that so was too late. <laughs> um, that you're not meant to use it on the eyes, but I use it as colour base on my eyes. I don't know why it's not tested on the eye area. Most of the cream colour bases are. So if you know, let me know because I'm quite interested in why they didn't think that this would be a good base for eyeshadow. I haven't had any problems with creasing, so. But it is meant to be a blush. It's very pale, so if I do ever use it as a blush, I use it just as a base for a blush. I think it may be far too pale for most people, so I'm not really sure where they were trying to go with this. I guess you could try and use it as a highlight, but. I don't know. For a highlight, I prefer something like Glimmer Shimmer, and this is in On The Town, and okay, I'm going to do it on the other hand, because the thing is, you do the tiniest little pump, so I don't use this very often, and you get that much product, Ooh, get that much product, but then if you, do, you try and blend it out, that's going to, if I try and blend it to the consistency I want for a highlight, or for anything that would go in my face, there we go. That's now covering half my hand. So like, I would need the tiniest little dab for just this line here, but instead you get so much. So I've tried to use it on my lips. <laughs> I've tried to use it on my eyes. Because I just get so much, I feel it's always. So there we go. That would be it. Blend it out to the consistency I like. And that's the colour. It's kind of a gold peach again. I really like it. And if I just dab it on my finger, there it is. Obviously you wouldn't want something so strong um, in your face. And another highlight that I use is Mirai Skin Finish, um, the petticoat that came out recently. And I love this, it's really similar to Pink Opal. I really want to go back and get more of the Mirai Skin Finishes. But it's just the prettiest light pink and mine hasn't I tried to go down the middle because it doesn't have as much veining because this side is a little too dark for me but look at that I sometimes just use this as a blush on its own because it's kind of dark for me it's so shimmery and pretty I love this stuff I love it, I'm going to buy it for my mother as well she loves it and then I have my e.l.f. blush that I recently purchased in glue another peachy shade really good today. <laughs> um, I have the blush and bronzer. This is the blush shimmer powder from my um, Too Faced palette. And then, oh, let me get the other one out. Hold on a second. And then this bunch right here. It's a pinky colour. Really pretty. God, I keep putting on blush today because I'm doing the other wholeness. And then, last but not least, I have two ethnicity mineral samples of blushes that I didn't really use that much because I have all these others that I, I didn't even know I had. Um, Peach Champagne Lux Minerals is um, probably an eyeshadow mineral, but I really like it as a highlight because it has a lot of kind of gold in it. Let's see? And lastly, Paper Doll. Which is this pink also are kind of an eyeshadow. But look at it, it's so pretty. It makes a really shimmery highlight. Or if you spare me a blush. Yee. There we go, that's the colour, it's so pretty. Let's swatch it really quickly. I had a spillage of this in my bag, so it was a bit of a disaster, but there it is. Ooh, there it is. It's pretty. 
Okay, well thank you for watching this video and um, I'll see you all soon. Bye.